ion linear equations. Y equals to mx plus c, and the graphs are straight lines, as well as your simultaneous equations. Okay? So, the first one, very simple. Huh? Please take out a piece of paper or anywhere that you can write. Solve y equals to 3x plus 1 and y equals to negative x plus 5. Can you try this? You can choose two methods, right? What are they? Substitution, elimination. Any more? No? Any more methods? There is one more method actually, the graphical method. But you don't need to do that first. Start with either your elimination or substitution. Do it quickly because we have a few examples that I want to go through. So that you have a better understanding of your quadratic graphs. Okay, what answers do you get? Done already? Hey, why so long? Afik, are you done? Have you started? What are you waiting for? Yes. Okay, do you all get this? X equals to 1 and Y equals to 4. Either your elimination or substitution, you will get this. Okay? Then, I'm sure you have learned about the graphical method. How do we solve simultaneous equations using the, a graph? or two graphs. So of course the first step will have to be, we plot it out, y equals to 3x plus 1. Okay, so I get a straight line over here. And we see that the gradient is sloping upwards because m, the value of m is 3, it is positive. So it slopes upwards. And what is the y-intercept over here? 1 because we have C, which is 1, okay? This is my graph of y equals to 3x plus 1 over here. Now I'm going to show you the second graph. y equals to negative x plus 5. Okay, in green color, this is my graph of y equals to negative x plus 5. You notice that these two graphs, they intersect at one particular point. The point is over here. What do you notice are the x coordinates and y coordinates? What is the x coordinate over here from the graph? One. What do we say was the solution to the two equations? X equals to one, right? The y coordinate is four. Over here, whether you did it by elimination or substitution, the y value is also four. Okay? Any questions so far? Okay. Then, next is, now if I simply asked you to solve 3x plus 1 equals to negative x plus 5. If I just ask you to solve this equation, what is it that you will do? You'll move all the x to one side, move all the constants to the other side, isn't it? And then you will still get the same answer. But this time, you only end up with x equals to 1, isn't it? Okay. So right now, I have shown you two types of questions that I can ask. First is, in green color, solve two simultaneous equations where you have two unknowns, x and y. 
The second type of question in light blue over here at the bottom is I ask you to solve one equation, but there is only one unknown, which is x. Okay? And you notice that this 3x plus 1 is also found over here, 3x plus 1. And we also have negative x plus 5 over here. There you are. So if I had asked you to solve the equation at the bottom, the light blue one, first, using a graph, how are you going to do it? So this is what we can do. If my question is, I ask you to solve whatever is in the bottom first. So what we will do is, we let y, we will draw the graph of y equals to this, and the graph of y equals to this. We will draw two straight lines, y equals to 3x plus 1, which is exactly this, and y equals to negative x plus 5, which is exactly this. And the lines where they intersect will give me a solution for x, meaning x equals to 1. Okay, let me illustrate with another example. So, oh, everything is almost the same, it's just that I'm changing the equation right now. Okay, so solve y equals to 2x minus 5, and y equals to negative 3x plus 5. Can do it, elimination or substitution. Tell me your value of x and y. I will do it also. Don't wait for my answer and just copy because you can use this time to practice. It is not difficult. How you look lost. Do you know what's happening? Solving simultaneous equation, you can do it, right? Yeah. Do you all get the same answer as me? x equals to 2, y equals to negative 1. So if you don't want to solve it using algebra, we can do it using our graphs. So the first graph I'm going to plot will be y equals to 2x minus 5. Okay. Okay, the graph is over here. Let's see whether it makes sense. Huh? Positive gradient, because 2 is positive, okay. Negative 5 is my y-intercept. Does it intercept at negative 5? Where's my y axis? Ah, here. So it intersects at y equals to negative 5. That is my first equation. Second equation will be y equals to negative 3x plus 5. Okay. So another graph, negative gradient, so it slopes down because negative 3 over here. And it intersects the y axis at the value 5. So yes, it does intersect at 5. Now, without if I don't want to calculate, I can find the solution to these two equations at the intersection point. It is 2 comma negative 1. So my x value will be 2, as shown over here. And the y value will be negative 1. Okay? So if I did not start off with a set of simultaneous equations, if I had given you a different question, which is, so, 2x minus 5 equals to negative 3x plus 5. If I ask you to solve this, you will bring all the x to one side, you will bring all the constants to the other side, and find out that x is equal to 2. Okay? But, if I ask you to do, solve this with a graph, what you can do is the same as before, We let y be equals to this, and then I let y be equals to this. And then I have two graphs again. The first graph will be 
y equals to 2x minus 5. Here, 2x minus 5, 2x minus 5. Same graph. The other one will be negative 3x plus 5. So if I had asked you to solve the light blue equation to begin with, only one unknown which is x, you can introduce y equals 2. And then the other side also y equals 2. Then you draw a graph where they intersect will be the solution. That means uh, x will be equals to 2 over here. Right now, if I ask you to solve the light blue one, I'm not interested in the value of y because that is something that you have introduced. I will only want the value of x. Follow me so far? Okay, now these are quite complicated graphs, right? Because I have diagonal lines everywhere. Let me try with a simpler graph. Okay, so next example. Graphs are simple. Okay, so now I will try this. Solve, simple one, huh? y equals to 3x plus 9, and y equals to 0. So, easy, right? Okay, try, quickly. Done? Right? Negative 3, right? Okay, what does this mean? Okay, you should finish this very quickly. X is equal to negative 3. And then do I need to substitute X negative 3 back into my equation? Why? Ah? Because they already told you Y equals to 0, right? So I know Y equals to 0 already. And X is equal to negative 3. What does this look like in a graph? So I'll draw the first graph, which is Y equals to 3X plus 9. Easy. Okay y equals to 3x plus 9, it has a positive gradient, it intersects the y-axis at 9. What is the other graph I should draw? y equals to 0. Before I draw that, do you know what it looks like? Don't tell me straight line. It, you see, when you tell me straight line, right, I believe you are referring to something else. You are trying to say horizontal or vertical. So can you be more specific with the words you use? What line am I expecting for y equals to 0? Vertical, sure or not? Y equals to zero vertical line. Horizontal line. Y equals to zero is over here. Y equals to zero. So I will draw it, I will draw the graph now and prove it to you, okay? Y equals to zero. See? Okay? And now what does this mean? What are the intersection what are, what's the point of intersection? X equals to negative three. Isn't that what we got? And y equals to zero. Okay? In other words, if I ask you to solve 3x plus 9 equals to zero, then what will you do? Are you going to draw a graph? Of course not. La. You're just going to tell me, oh, 3x equals to negative 9, x equals to negative 3. But if I want you to draw a graph, what graphs will you draw? What graphs will you draw? You draw y equals to 3x plus 9 as well as y equals to 0. And where did these come from? Yellow. 3x plus 9 over here. And the 0 is from here. Huh? And then the point of intersection, which in this case happens to be the x axis, is over here. So that is why the value of y is 0, the value of x is negative 3. Okay, so far? Okay, then now we can go into our quadratic already. We go back to our quadratic, okay? Um, if I ask you to solve uh, solve um, y equals to x squared plus 2x 
plus one, and y equals to zero. Okay, simple one. If I ask you to solve these two, what will you do? Solve, solve. You can use a uh, substitution elimination up to you. Tell me what you get. So what method do you use? Hmm? Quadratic formula. You know, I don't believe you use quadratic formula. I believe you did something with your calculator, right? You better know what's happening over there. Huh? Okay? So if you had used the quadratic formula, you will get answer x equals to negative one or what's the other answer? What do you get? Negative one or? Or you only have one answer? You have two answers. It's just that they are the same answers. If you don't believe me, let me just show you what I will get. Okay, negative two plus minus square root 2 square minus 4. That is 0, isn't it? Over 2. So this is negative 2 plus 0 over 2 or negative 2 minus 0 over 2. This will give me negative 1 or negative 1. See, two answers. What do we call these two same answers? Huh? They are real roots. They are real solution, but they are repeated. Okay? They are repeated. So if I had asked you to solve whether you use your quadratic formula, whether you use your factorization, meaning uh, you will get uh, x plus 1 square equals to 0, then you'll tell me that x plus 1 equals to 0, I'm uh, sorry, x plus 1 times x plus 1 equals to 0, therefore x equals to negative 1 or x equals to negative 1. So you see, this way you also get repeated roots. But the answer, answer are the same, negative one. That's why you call it repeated. So if I had asked you to solve them graphically, what graphs should I plot? What graphs do you think I should plot for this simultaneous equation? Ali, what do you think? What graph should I plot? First one. Fast, fast, hurry up. If I want to solve this, with a graph, or with two graphs, what are the graphs that I should plot? What is the equation of the graph I should plot? Okay, so yes, this is the first graph we should plot. Does it make sense? What is the coefficient of x squared? Yesterday I asked Shamin, right? So what is the coefficient of x squared over here? Shafiq, one. What kind of number is it? Positive. So what shape will I get? Parabola opening upwards, right? And this is what I do get. I, I do get it. What is the second graph I should plot? Y equals to zero. And the point of intersection will tell me the solution, right? How many solutions are we expecting since we already calculated? Okay, you can say one. What is the solution? X equals to negative one. Or you can say, yeah, we will get two solutions just that they are repeated. The two solutions are X equals to negative one or X equals to negative one. That's why it is repeated. So I'm going to show you the graph of Y equals to zero, which is a horizontal line, green color. And you see the point in the section, which is over here. Negative 1, comma 0. Is that it correct? X equals to negative 1 from my graph. Okay? So if I had asked you to solve, if I asked you to solve right from the start, X squared plus, you know, solve X squared plus 2X plus 1 equals to 0. If I had asked you to do this to begin with, what will you plot on your graph. Can you tell me what will you plot on your graph? 
So I will plot y equals to x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then the other graph I'll plot will be y equals to 0. Where these two graphs intersect will give me my solution. If I do this, if I plot, if I solve the light blue equation with a graph, am I interested in a y value? No, I'm not. I only want x value. Because I introduced the y myself, which the question is not interested in. They only want the x value. Okay? Let us try another example. Let me, let me do some quick working first. Huh? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, let us try to solve this equation. Uh, y equals to x squared minus x minus 2, as well as y equals to, what do you all prefer? Okay, y equals 0, uh, easy again. Solve these two. What do you get? Oops, sorry. Darren, what do you get? You mean the value of x, is it? Okay, so he did his working. They found that x equals to 2 or negative 1. Okay, I hope everybody got that. I shall not waste time into the, whether you use your quadratic or your complete square or factorization. Now tell me, what is the graph that I should plot? If I want to find out from a graph. Okay, y equals to x squared minus x minus 2. Okay, I have another parabola opening upwards because my coefficient of x squared is again positive. And what is the second graph I should plot? y equals to 0, very good. So y, even without plotting, uh, you already know it's the x-axis, right? So, but never mind, I'll just plot it in for you. Blue color line, y equals to 0. I am not going to zoom in. What do you think are the x in the set? Okay, no, it came out already. What do you think is the x in the set on the left hand side? Left hand side. What is the coordinate here? It's going to be negative 1. Lah. Okay, because we calculated it earlier on, right? Negative 1, comma, 0. What about this one? 2, comma, 0. You can read it off your graph, or back of our mind, we already know the answers. Okay, so. Over here, negative 1 and 2. Okay, so if, same thing again. Huh? If I had asked you to solve x squared minus x minus 2 equals to 0, using graphs, what will you draw? If I ask you to solve the light blue one, what will you draw? Erfan, what will you draw? Say again? You cannot see. So you just keep quiet there, then... Oh, are you saying that you'll go home and watch the video? Better, huh? I'll go back and check whether the, the view count increased by one or not. Very few. Huh? I know not many people watch. But I think those who watch, right, did better for the test. Huh? I don't tell you. Afik, what do you think? What graph should I plot? Okay, y equals to x squared minus x minus 2. The other graph will be y equals to 0. Okay, do you feel that this is quite manageable, quite easy to follow? Am I boring you with all these drills already? We keep doing the same thing, right? So let's try something different, okay? Now, solve. Here we are. Solve x squared minus x minus 6 equals to 0. Uh, now it's a different type of question. I'm not giving you two equations anymore. Okay? Solve this. 
my question not finished yet, uh, using a graph. Using graphical method. Okay, now, by right, you should have your graph paper and then you will plot it out. Whatever graph is it, and then you tell me what values I should look out for. But for now, just sketch. Just a sketch will do. I want to know whether you get the concept or not. In other words, you need to tell me what you want to sketch. Okay, do you know how to sketch? Is it very easy? Then later you'll get more difficult, okay? Tell me what you want to sketch. Try sketching it out yourself. Because I think you know what are the, you know how to find out the X intercept? You know how to find out the Y intercept? And you know the shape of the graph, right? Smiley face, set face. Okay, now tell me, what graph did you sketch? Or do you plan to sketch? Hmm? Okay, but what is the equation of that graph? So Kai said we should plot a parabola opening upwards. Okay, but what is the equation of the graph? Yeah, yes? X square, he says we should plot x squared minus x minus 6, is it? Is this an equation? How do we plot this? Uh, we must have a y equals 2. That means I will have a table of values, x and y. Then you start substituting in values, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, so on and so forth. Find the corresponding values of y, then you plot. Okay. So assuming we have done that, and we are going to use the magic of Desmos, we plot y equals to x squared minus x minus 6. Okay, now we plot our graph already. What should we do next? What should we do next? Just one graph, we can get answers? Yes, Sophia is right. We should plot y equals to 0 also. Because, like we, we have been drilling earlier on already, huh? we will first plot this part, and we will call it y equals 2. We plot this part, which is what Kai said already. Then the second part will be plotting the right hand side 0. And we also call it y. So y equals to 0. We are going to plot these two graphs and see where they intersect. So y equals to 0. Where do they intersect? Two points over here. If you did not calculate the values, if you did not solve this by your, sorry, if you did not solve the original equation with quadratic formula, and we did it by graph, then what coordinates are we interested in looking at? The points of intersection. So over here, point of intersection, over here, point of intersection. Which value do I want? Zero or negative two? Negative two. That means, uh, my answer is, from my graph, x is equal to negative 2, or what is the answer? 3. This is from my graph. No working. No working required. Okay? But you have to plot your graph as accurately as you can. Understand? But so far, we've always been dealing with x, uh, y equals to 0, right? So, I'm going to change the question now. Say one, x squared minus x minus 6. So, solve x squared minus x minus 6 equals to 1. Now, how are we going to do this? Think about it. What should we plot? Don't need to sketch or anything, just think about it. If I ask you to solve this using graphs, what are the graphs we should plot? The first one is 
x squared minus x minus 6. Wait, wait, but that's not an equation. Oh, y. Okay, okay. So plot, answer, uh, plot y equals to x squared minus x minus 6. Okay, assuming you have it. Oh, we do have it. It's the same graph. Okay, we have it. Then, what next? Y equals to 1. Okay, then we plot y equals to 1. And what do we look out for? What do we look out for again? Yeah, we look out for the intersection. So, y equals to 1. One. Okay, so as we expect, there will be a horizontal line, y equals to 1, and it intersects the curve at two points. What are they? Which value of x am I, which value of the coordinate am I interested in? Negative 2.193 or 1? We are only interested in the x value because my question is solving this equation, which is x only. So I'm not interested in y value. I don't care about this one. I only want negative 2.193 or 3.193. I don't understand. Say again. The solution, why? It is the intersect of your two graphs, which is the first graph is your parabola x squared minus x minus 6 over here and the other graph will be y equals to 1. It is not always the point of intersection with the x-axis. Okay? I have just shown you. Sometimes your answer will be the intersection point between a, a straight line and a curve. Sometimes it will be between the curve and the x-axis. It depends on the question. In this case over here, okay. So 